After being told their elderly dog was put down, a family in New Jersey was shocked to find their dog was still alive after being abducted by their veterinarian. What the f***? Hi, I'm Ava Gordy. Welcome back to What's Trending. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories. It's any dog owner's worst nightmare, wrapped up in like a second nightmare. In May, Carrie Levy of Freehold Township, New Jersey, brought the family dog Caesar to Briarwood Veterinary Hospital. Caesar was 15 years old and suffered from Cushing's disease. Cushing's disease is a chronic health condition for canines and it is one of the most common endocrine disorders in older dogs. Cushing's disease often leads to the process of euthanizing. Carrie explains that after leaving Caesar at the veterinarian's office, she got a phone call saying that he had been put down. What the f Call me before that shit happens. She picked up the collar and actually paid her bill and received a letter from the veterinary offices stating their condolences on the loss of her pet, said Ross Lacitra, chief of the Monmouth County Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. After a few months of mourning the loss of their beloved miniature pincher, an anonymous tip told the family that he was stolen. Carrie, working together with the SPCA, tracked Caesar down. Briarwood Veterinary explained that Dr. George Menez, the vet who was supposedly caring for Caesar, no longer worked at the animal hospital. Just put a ton of question marks over me. In a now deleted Facebook post, Carrie details how the vet's office called the cremation company Dr. Menez used, and they had no records of Caesar at all. More question marks. Levy confronted the vet. Dr. George Menez used to own the Briarwood Veterinary Hospital, but has since sold the practice. Menez admitted that he gave the dog away to another former employee of the veterinary hospital. I'm sorry, what? According to police, the vet meant no ill will. They had just grown attached to Caesar. Quote, this employee wanted to do so out of compassion for the dog and a desire to rehabilitate his health, albeit without the owner's consent, police said in a statement. What the f***? <laughs> Even in the care of a vet tech, Caesar's health deteriorated rapidly. So, didn't help at all. Didn't help at all. Levy writes in her Facebook post, Our dog is worse than he was. No treatment for him, no medical care at all. He has lost 10 pounds, his bones are deteriorated, and his body is absorbing the muscle tissue. He smells from a skin condition. He is blind in one eye and almost the other has a large growth on it. He has several masses on his body. He suffered prior from Cushing. He hasn't had any meds and most likely had slash has some form of cancer. What gave these people the right to do this? <laughs> oh my God. What the f I will say again. <laughs> The reunion was very brief. Levy spent about an hour with Caesar before he was properly euthanized. Caesar is dead. Long live Caesar. As for Dr. Menez, he is currently out of a job. A worker who answered the phone at Briarwood told the website that he had been let go over the weekend, but wouldn't say why. It's unclear if Levy plans to file a lawsuit against him. Um, you should. <laughs> you really should. Cause this is up. I don't know, like I, it's, it's your thing, but like I would, I would definitely sue for like a lot of money. <laughs> However, the Monmouth County SPCA and the Howell, New Jersey police are investigating for possible charges of theft and animal cruelty. It's pretty unimaginable that someone would steal your sick and elderly dog, like why? But there are obviously sick and twisted people out there. Unfortunately, people are stealing dogs and euthanizing them, I guess. In 2014, a woman in Pittsburgh was convicted of stealing and euthanizing her neighbor's husky Thor while the dog's owner was suffering with stage three cancer. <laughs> Uh. In 2015, Jesse Reznicek claimed his dog Brutus was stolen and euthanized, possibly by a former roommate who claims Reznicek neglected Brutus. Well, did ya? No? Still not okay. Still not okay, sorry. And also in 2015, a Virginia woman sued people for the ethical treatment of animals after two PETA representatives stole and euthanized the family's pet chihuahua. I don't know, leave your thoughts on this crazy shit in the comments, I guess, but it, this is this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. And subscribe to the channel. Thanks. For more stories, go to whatstrending.com.